To follow a developing story in South Asia, where Sri Lanka's president has given the military sweeping police powers beginning tomorrow. This comes in the wake of that Easter bombing that killed nearly 300 people, the island's nation's deadliest violence since the devastating civil war that ended in 2009. Officials saying today that intelligence agencies warned weeks ago of the possibility of an attack by the radical Muslim group blamed for the weekend bloodshed. Channel 2 anchor Christine Noel joining us live in our newsroom with the latest developments. Christine? Bill officials in Washington responding to the attacks tonight. They're offering support to the people and the government of Sri Lanka. A series of attacks ripped through churches and hotels on Easter Sunday in Sri Lanka. I spoke with the various government officials that we are working with in Sri Lanka. What was supposed to be a joyful Easter Sunday was marred by a horrific wave of Islamic radical terror uh, Bloodshed. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo confirming that radical Islam remains a threat and the FBI saying it is assisting in the investigation. Sadly, this evil exists in the world. Both Pompeo and President Donald Trump speaking to Sri Lanka's prime minister. The president pledging support to Sri Lanka in bringing the perpetrators to justice and the leaders reaffirm their commitment to the fight against global terrorism. At least 290 people were killed Sunday and at least 500 more were injured. Americans among those killed including a fifth grader from the Washington DC area and Dieter Kowalski from Colorado. We mourn the loved ones of the victims, some of whom we can confirm were indeed U.S. citizens. This is America's fight, too. We have to remain active and vigilant, and uh, it's going to require uh, attention. Authorities have arrested at least 24 people in connection with the attacks. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Christine Noel, KPRC Channel 2 News. Christine, thank you.